Alrighty, so today we're going to be driving one of the exclusive cars from the specialty dealer, the Mazda MX-5 Super 20, and I'm pretty excited to drive this thing. I really feel like it's going to be a fun car to drive, just because the little tiny Mazdas always seem to have been fun in racing games that I've played. I love the little Miata that they had in Forza Horizon 3, so hopefully this thing is just as enjoyable to drive. Now, unfortunately, I can't launch it, so I can't tell you how I'm going to feel about that, but... Let's just see how this thing drives. So far the acceleration feels pretty good, which is definitely a good thing. Oh boy, we're gonna have a little cluster here, aren't we? So far, I like this thing. It feels pretty quick. The acceleration seems good. The braking seems perfectly fine. I mean, it's a pretty light car. And the handling seems good, too. The turning ability. It's so hard to drive clean in this game. I hate not driving clean, but it's like almost impossible when there's so many cars on such a tight racetrack. That's one thing that kind of irks my nerves about motorsport. Because it doesn't matter how hard I try to drive clean, it just does not ever happen. Usually, at least. Sometimes I can do it. This car's grip is good. This is another real-wheel drive car. But the grip does feel very good overall. Sounds pretty nice for a little Mazda Miata, too. Oh boy, it's starting to rain. That's not good. That's not good. I'm not used to this car, plus it's rear-wheel drive, and I'm racing against like all-wheel drive cars like this Subaru here. Oh boy. But this car, I like the feel of it so far. It really does feel nice. Again, not sure about top speed, because top speed is almost irrelevant in motorsport, I feel like, so far. Acceleration is always very important, and obviously cornering ability, which this thing handles very nice though, too. Even in the rain so far, the grip hasn't been too bad. I'm definitely having a lot of throttle control, so... That's part of it. You do need throttle control with this car. It's not a car you can just go full throttle with the whole way through. Braking feels solid though, handling feels good. But it sucks that it's raining because I can't truly see how this car performs. And as you can see on the left side of your screen though, I already did finish the mod challenges, I guess we'll say, that I had on here, so... That's a good thing, race in the rain and good turns. The gearing ratios feel good in this car too, it shifts pretty quick, I think I put a clutch upgrade on this thing when I was tweaking around with it before I raced it here because it wasn't, it, it could be maxed out at like, I think it was B-Class 520 and it was like just under that, it was like 517 or 518 so I was like alright let's see what I can do so whoa 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 <laughs> starting to drift on me a little there well, we're looking good here, one lap to go, I'm in second place so I'm pretty happy with that but that was pretty scary that I almost just lost control. <laughs> I gotta be very careful here with this rain. I'm starting to slide around a little bit now, it's starting to get pretty bad. It's the first time I really felt like I had no control over my car. So the weather dynamic is real very effective in this game because that first lap there wasn't that much rain on the racetrack and it wasn't too bad but now you can see it's still been raining and it's actually certainly affecting my driving probably braking distances too definitely turning ability with this car and the grip coming around the turns coming out of those corners not thunder in that lightning though <laughs> 
And I'm pretty sure, if I saw correctly, there's a Lancer in front of me. So I gotta be careful here because he's got all-wheel drive. So I'm gonna really have to be careful here. If I wanna get first place at the end of this race. This is why I love Forza 7 though, because this is so competitive in single player. Like it's never a definite that you're gonna win because you can easily mess up at any time, no matter how good of a driver you are. Well, I made a good move on that turn. Caught up to him a little bit here. Oh my gosh, he just brake checked me. He played dirty with me, so I'm gonna have to play dirty with him. <laughs> I'll take it. First place, baby. I like this car, though. Top speed doesn't really matter, but the acceleration's good, the braking's good, the handling is good, and even in the rain, I was able to control the car pretty decently well. It was a little, a little bit slippery for sure, but the grip is pretty good. I'm happy with that. And we'll obviously take first place. Had to do it a little bit nastily there, a little bit of dirty driving, but I didn't appreciate getting brake checked there, so... Kind of had to do what I had to do, but I'm going to quick show you this car in the Forza Vista. And that's probably about it. I think that's all we're going to have to do with this thing, so we will be right back. So you might have noticed the car stock actually has like that little yellow vinyl, some yellow accents, which I actually really like, and I didn't want to get rid of those. But the thing was, I didn't really like the stock wheels, so I decided to switch those. And I'm not sure why we can't increase the stock rim size like we ended up being able to do in Forza Horizon 3. Not sure why we took a step back there, but as you can see when I got it here from the specialty dealer, it was B-Class 518. So I put it to the top where it would max out with the homo homologation. I keep forgetting how to say that word because I never really have used it in my lifetime before. But I put it to 520, which is maxing it out. And the thing is, though, when I switched the wheels... It took away the yellow vinyl when I, well, not when I switched the wheels, but when I painted the wheels, it took away the vinyl, so I was kind of disappointed about that. And I still hate how you can't turn the headlights on, I always like to see that, but supercharged, look at that, Cosworth supercharged Mazda speed, flying Miata. That's a pretty cool motor setup, I actually really like that. That looks really nice. This is a really cool car, beautiful design car too, I think this is a really nice looking Mazda. And let's take a look at the inside here. See what this thing looks like. The inside looks nice too. I like this car a lot. I like the yellow and the gray and the black. It all looks good and it's very unfortunate that that yellow kind of vinyl went away. But let's see how this thing sounds. little bit of a crackle there. It's funny too if you noticed when I was, or when the game was showing the back of the car when I first started it, the exhausts were actually rattling a little bit. So that was pretty funny. But this is a really cool little car. I like it a lot. I had a lot of fun driving this thing and I think it looks good. It sounds pretty decent. Doesn't sound like a fart can and I mean overall cool little car. So let me know what you think of this Mazda. It is from the specialty dealer as you saw. So it is exclusive, and I think it said in about seven hours from the time of me making this video, this car is going to be gone along with the other two that were there. So you won't be able to get them anymore from the specialty dealer as of now. Not sure if they're going to come back later. Not sure if they're going to pop up in other places, but I like this car a lot. I highly recommend snagging it from the specialty dealer if you have time and if you have not already. But I really hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day.